This is how I sew my granny squares together using the mattress stitch to create an invisible seam. I used a contrasting color to show how invisible this seam really is. And while it's a tougher seam than the whip stitch, it's not quite as flat as the whip stitch, but I have a little bit of a workaround for that. With the right side of the granny square facing me, I'm going to feed the needle from the back to the front in between the loops of the first corner chain. Then I'm going to take my other granny square and I'm going to feed from the front to the back in between the loops also of the first chain and then I'm coming back out from the back to the front in between the loops of the next chain. Then I'm working back into the first granny square. I'm inserting my needle into the stitch that I came out of originally and I'm weaving it in between the loops of the next chain to start my zigzag pattern. Then I'm going to go back to my second granny square and I'm going to work into the stitch I came out of last, weave it in between the loops of the next stitch and pull the needle through. And we're just gonna keep zigzagging this way. So I'm going back into where I came out of, then I'm weaving it in between the loops of the next stitch and it's just going to keep going back and forth like that. By only picking up one loop, I'm minimizing the bump in the back while creating a nice little border on my granny chains once they're sewn together. And I do try to pull it tight as I go, not super tight, but pretty snug so that um, at the end it's an even seam all the way across. Now that I've reached the end of this side, I am going to flip it over just to show you and then here I'm just going to pull it tight one more time and the contrasting yarn is hidden really well. If you were to use a matching yarn you couldn't even see it. Now in the next part I'll show you how to do the corner piece where we're intersecting all the granny squares and it'll be linked in the comments. I also made a granny square playlist if you want to check out my other videos on the granny square.